Oh, her her dad. Dude, dude, look at me, look at his back. Get used to it. Read here, everyone. Welcome to the Board of Supervisors meeting for Thursday, May 16th. Please stand for the pledge. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for those that are gathered here in our community. We thank you for the families, the individuals in this ever changing world. Uh, we also ask for prayers for the, the sick and the help, helpless that need your guidance. In uh, God's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Fisher Bergen will be joining us here shortly. He had a family matter that he needed to attend. There were no executive sessions had. The evening's meeting is being recorded for rebroadcast purposes. Public comment, please uh, come forward for not for uh, agenda items. Please state your name for the meeting minutes. All right, seeing none, moving on to uh, action items. May 2nd, meeting minutes for approval. Gentlemen, do you have any changes? Uh, not for me. No. All right. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, May 2nd meeting minutes as presented. I'll second that. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. At this time, we will uh, hand uh, the meeting over to our solicitor, Matt Crane. Uh, thank you, members of the board. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a uh, public hearing on the adoption of an ordinance. Many of you have sat through these before. Uh, this ordinance will reduce the number of uh, members of the rec board. Uh, this is a request from the rec board uh, because of difficulties obtaining a quorum at their meetings. Uh, the Ordinance was prepared, properly advertised, and has been available for review. Uh, again, um, those of you who will recall uh, other ordinance hearings, uh, this is what's referred to as a legislative hearing, and the board will receive testimony in the form of public comment. And these instructions apply to the uh, to the next hearing as well on, on the resolution. That public comment generally is um, directed toward expressing your opinion on whether you think the board should or should not adopt this ordinance. So, um, members of the board, um, again, everything is in the proper form. Uh, if there's uh, anybody who has uh, public comment on the ordinance, this would be the time for that, that public comment. Is there any public comment on the ordinance presented? Okay. It uh, is again uh, the, uh, the typical circumstance. You may choose to act on uh, considering uh, the ordinance for adoption this evening or at uh, a future public meeting in the near future. You know, your next or the next after that public meeting. You guys got any questions or want to move forward? Or? Yeah, I don't see any reason to hold back. And I think, uh, my opinion, I think it's a good move. We have two open vacancies currently. It's been advertised for quite some time. We haven't got any interest there. Um, the board hasn't been able to have a quorum in quite some time, and uh, obviously when it's seven members, you got to have four. Or when it's five, you got to have three. That one person, uh, that one extra person, sometimes has been the problem why they haven't been able to meet. My opinion, I think we should move forward with it. We have five great people on that board, and 
three of them can three of them can meet. That's good, and uh, they can keep shooting things our way once they can meet and talk about things. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. Move forward with a motion, Matt, or you got to close your hearing? No, nope. you can move with the uh, together with the motion. All right, I'll make a motion to adopt Ordinance 2024-03 to establish a Recreation Board membership. I'll second that. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Moving on to the next public hearing, Resolution 2024-13, Community Development Block Grant. So members of the board, ladies and gentlemen, it's not typical to have a public hearing for a resolution, uh, but there is a group of resolutions that by statute and regulation require a public hearing, and uh, this is one of them because the township is pursuing a grant uh, known as a community development block grant, and um, I believe Melody is going to uh, tell us uh, the details of that. Thank you, Matt. Um, so, this is an application that staff has been preparing for the 2024 community development block grant. Um, if you could go to the next slide, Tommy. Um, a community development block grant is a formula grant from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. What that means is that we fill out a formula. If we meet the criteria, we get the grant. Um, that is then awarded to smaller groups within a um, within a um, state that then subaward that. So for us, the Lancaster County Redevelopment Authority is being awarded a certain amount of funding for the Community Development Block Grant, and we are then applying to be sub-awarded some of that funding for our particular project. Um, the project, you can go to the next slide, okay. the project that we have identified to apply for um, will be on the next slide. I wanted to share some about the requirements. Uh, I wanted to share some about the requirements. Oops. <laughs> right, that one, yes, thank you. Um, in order to get a community development block grant, right, you must be you must serve a census tract that is more than 46.74% low to moderate income residents. We have two tracts in East Valley Township, one that serves that has 57.71% um, LMI residents and one that has 53.78% LMI residents. It must be in a per our project must be in a primarily residential area, and funds must be used for construction costs only. You can see a list here of different types of projects that um, the authority is entertaining applications for. Ours would be a park and recreational facilities project, and for those, we are required to have a 50% match, uh, which has been identified by staff. Um, if you can go to the next slide. Our application would be spruced up and viewed by the skate park that is near the pool, that is like across the stream from the pool. Uh, we want to repave the parking lot and the walkway there. There's some um, cracks and some in the park, the paving lot is a little bit um, breaking down. Uh, we want to add a slip rail fence around the skate park. We want to add some slip rail fence to uh, the end of the parking lot where there's currently a split rail fence that is starting to wear down. Uh, we want to add ADA parking spots and striping to the lot. We want to add four landscaping islands uh, to the parking lot, and we want to add an eye-catching recycled plastic sign to identify the lot. The total project cost is estimated at $130,000, and we are seeking $65,000 for that project. Um, gentlemen, that is my presentation. Do you have any questions? So that I've been in that parking lot multiple times uh, when my son likes going skating, and it is it's pretty, it's pretty rough. It's a pretty rough parking lot. And uh, yeah. Yeah. the uh, split rail fence around the um, uh, skate park, I, re I recall last year, the year before, uh, Kilmer, our insurance company, was already asking the previous board about 
installing that and we kind of pushed it off. So that's, I'm happy to see that part of the whole grant as well. And obviously changing the other split rail too so it all matches. It's, you know, I have one from 1300s and one from the 2000s, right? Um, but yeah, that, I can kind of uh, vision it. I think that will look pretty nice with some landscaping and, and all that. And that recycle sign might pop, right? What is the timeline on it? Right? Um, the timeline, they're hoping to um, award in September, notify us in July, and they are expecting us to do the project within a year to a year and a half. Okay. So would that be something we would do this year, or would that be next? Mm -hmm. Next fall well, because of the and stuff. Any public comment? Okay. Seeing none. We'll make a motion if you gentlemen uh, would like to move forward. I'll make a motion to adopt resolution 2024-13 to authorize the some Submission of a grant application to the Lancaster County Redevelopment Authority 2024 Community Block Grant Program. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. We have closed the hearing. Yes, sir. Melody, thank you very much for doing all the legwork on, on the, all these grant applications. My pleasure. Job well done. Thank you. All right, moving on to resolution 2024-14, Cardinal Ridge Lane Development Plan 2023-10, preliminary final plan approval. Mike, you yes. getting that? Yes, I am. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, before you tonight is a resolution, as uh, Lorenzo mentioned, for Cardinal Ridge. Uh, this is a land development project uh, on North Reading Road, just west of the intersection of Calico Creek and Fouts Hill Road on 272. Uh, 10 acre parcel. They are proposing a truck repair facility of 18,133 square feet with a potential future addition that I believe would bring the total to 25,000 square feet. Uh, in addition to that, there are a number of loading areas, uh, parking spaces, uh, and other uh, oversized vehicle spaces for, uh, for vehicle parking. Uh, while certain items are being repaired, they would have areas that they could park. Uh, those vehicles uh, periodically. Uh, there's also a parking lot layout and access onto 272 that requires a PennDOT highway occupancy permit, um, which they're in process of uh, going through that process. Um, in, before you with the resolution, there are a number of waivers and deferrals. Uh, in addition to that, there are some conditions. This was reviewed by the Planning Commission, I believe, a couple of months ago, uh, and those recommendations are reflected uh, here in this resolution. Uh, tonight we do have Tom Matson and uh, Tony Longo are present. If the board has any questions for them um, or questions for me, I'd be happy to answer those. I mean, it was pretty straightforward from what you and the Planning Commission had put together. Yes. Typical with a lot of other similar projects. Yeah, for yeah. land development. They did go through the zoning hearing process for the use, so that was one, one additional hurdle they had to do. Uh, this is zoned commercial as well, so it does fit in that area under the uh, zoning approvals. Gentlemen, do you have any questions? or the, Do you guys have anything for us? No, we reviewed the resolution. We have no objection. Seems it's a low spot. I'm assuming we looked at stormwater management or anything. 
It is. They actually do have a floodplain on the property, on the lower end of the property. There's right. a floodplain in riparian corridor area that's identified on the plan. They were required to go uh, get an NPDES permit. Uh, Tom, remind me, did you get that approval? No, we're still waiting for DEQ. We've got multiple submissions in the DEQ. We expect the permit any time. I remember the review, the comments came back. I wasn't sure if you actually got the, the uh, final yeah. approval at this point. But those items were looked at, and they are compliant, and obviously have to meet DEQ's final approval as well. I was just curious, because I know it's much down there, so yeah. All the, all the development is outside the 100 year flood plan in the riparian corridor. They are using some stormwater management with the riparian uh, to gain credits as part of the NPDES program. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to adopt resolution 2024 14 to grant preliminary final land development approval for Cardinal Ridge properties. LLC Land Development 2023-10 for a truck repair facility at North Reading Road. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. 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 Town Athletic Association uh, submitted by Heck Construction. Essentially, they're proposing an 18 by 28 roof over the entryway uh, to the club. The roof itself is actually located on top of an impervious area already. Um, therefore, there's no additional impervious that would trigger stormwater. Obviously, no impact increase as far as uh, patrons are concerned. Uh, water sewer impacts all of the items that typically fall under land development uh, that you would be concerned about. Um, they will uh, provide application and submit a permit <coughs> application, which we would review for building code compliance. But beyond that, they're requesting a formal review of land development. So it's very similar to the Rhino BFW. Yeah, exactly. uh, that's a good, that's exactly. a good comparison. When this came in, I thought it was the same one. So did I. Unless they got wind of that. It's a little bigger roof, though. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Any questions, gentlemen? To make a motion to grant a waiver of land development to the Reefstown Athletic Association to, per to permit the uh, construction of a roof extension at North Reefstown Road. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. 109 Royal Horse Stormwater Plan 2024 02 Stormwater Plan Improvement Agreement and Easement. This is a uh, 109 Royal Horse is a small project stormwater application, I believe, for a pool and patio application. They're proposing a rain garden. Um, we have reviewed the plan. Uh, we're in agreement with the plan. Uh, Matt's office was involved with the preparation of the, uh, the agreements involved, and there's also financial security being posted in the amount of $2,777.50 for those improvements. And we'll conduct inspections as part of the, the overall project once it's started. Any questions there? So that was basically that. It is. Any questions? I'll make a motion to approve a stormwater plan and a stormwater management and easement agreement and improvement agreement for various stormwater improvements to be installed at 109 Royal Horse Way. So. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. 1339 Red Run, security release. Yes, yeah, so and this is uh, similarly a small project application uh, that was started some time ago, uh, has finally been completed, and we conducted final inspection for that. We are recommending release of the entire financial security amount in the amount of $2,013. Any questions there? It has been, yes. Yep. I inherited that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the release in full of security pressure for stormwater improvements made at 1339 Red Run Road in the amount of $2,013. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks, Mark. That's all I have. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.
Next up is the Assistant Zoning Officer appointment. Uh, this evening I would like to make a recommendation to the board to appoint uh, as the Assistant Zoning Officer, the Assistant Manager, and Melody Stout. Any questions, gentlemen? I'd like to just point out, uh, I think Melody is doing a phenomenal job on catching on and doing a lot of good things while she's been here in her short time. I agree. I, I think she's been a great addition to staff. From what I've seen, at least, you deal with them dealing every day. So I've seen the same. Always there, always willing to give a helping hand, and always helping out. And I, I like that we're doing this in house too. It's saving us a lot of money. Mm -hmm. A lot of the zoning, the permits. Any questions on this appointment, Joe? Awesome. No. Nope. I'll make a motion to appoint Melody Stout to the position of Assistant Zoning Officer. Second that. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Treasurer's report. Treasurer's report. General Fund Bank Account list the bills. Down of $44,473.35 for the week of May 2nd. And $43,000. $846.54 for the week of May 9th. Any question on those two lists? Seeing none, I make a motion to approve. Second. Motion or second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Okay, we have a capital reserve fund list of bills in the amount of $2,000. $22.72 for the week of May 2nd, 2024. Any questions there? Seeing none, I make a motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And we have a ARPA fund list of bills in the amount of $677.74. <laughs> For the week of May 2nd, 2024. Is there any questions on that? Seeing none, I make a motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And we have a developer fund list of bills in the amount of $14,924.24 for the week of May 9th. So any questions there? Seeing none, I make a motion to approve. You sign that. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And we have a street light fund bank account list of bills in the amount of $14,234.94 for the week of May 9th of 2024. Question there. Seeing none, I make a motion. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. And we have an electronic payment list of bills in the amount of $89,490.52 for the pay period of April 21st, 2024 to May 4th of 2024. Uh, I make a motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. And that's uh, the list of bills for the week. Thank you, sir. Department of Reports, Police Chief. Thank you. <clears throat> the Chief's report for the month of April 2024. Uh, the most no notable arrests that we had. Uh, during the month of April, our officers assisted the Weinster County Drug Task Force with a narcotics investigation. Um, officers assisted the task force members with the execution of a search warrant at a residence in the 2100 block of Kramer Mill Road. Officers found over 250 grams of methamphetamine, 
14 grams of cocaine, various pills, um, various drug paraphernalia, numerous firearms, a ballistic vest, and um, about $500 in cash. The 44-year-old Stevens man was charged with uh, three counts of possession of intent to deliver and possession of drug paraphernalia. He was arraigned and committed to Lancaster County Prison. Uh, a few days later, he posted $50,000 monetary bail and was released. That was a pretty significant drug arrest. Um, 250 grams of methamphetamine is uh, very substantial, especially in this area, in the rural area. Um, the detectives did not locate any um, drug making devices, so there was no evidence that he was making the methamphetamine there, but um, that he was uh, charged with uh, distributing. During the month of April, he performed several speed studies to monitor traffic volume and excessive speed. We performed three of these speed studies in Denver Borough. We also performed um, one speed study here in the township. It was in the 300 block of Stevens Road. The average speed recorded there was 43.8 miles per hour. The highest speed was 79 miles per hour. <laughs> and that was at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. <laughs> During the month of April, we conducted uh, several speed enforcement details because of these speed studies. Um, we conducted a, a speed enforcement detail in the 400 block of Hanstown Road. Officers issued 14 citations for speeding violations. The highest speed recorded was 61. That's a 35 mile per hour zone. Officers conducted another speed enforcement detail in the 100 block of North Reamstown Road. Eight citations were issued for speeding violations there. The highest speed recorded was 48, and uh, that part of Reamstown Road is 25 miles per hour. We also, officers also conducted two speed enforcement details in Denver Borough. One of them was in the 700 block of North 6th Street, and the other one was in the 100 block of Main Street. And um, both of those uh, locations are 25 mile per hour zones, and of course, the people were about 47. It's like the highest speed recorded on those roadways. <clears throat> Two officers completed a three day FTO training course. FTO is field training officers, and field training officers are a vital part of any law enforcement agency. The field training officers are responsible not only to train new recruits but they're also an integral part of the agency's decision to keep or dismiss new recruits based on their observations. Our department's FTO program is 14 weeks long, and all new recruits, whether you're a seasoned veteran uh, or just fresh out of the academy, uh, must complete the full 14 weeks of, of our FTO program. During the month of April, we implemented, implemented an online learning program that allows officers to train on demand virtually 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm really excited about this. <coughs> um, it's called Police One Academy, and it includes an extensive library of over 1,500 online law enforcement continuing education courses. The platform allows me or my designee to assign um, uh, courses to officers with a timeline to complete. And of, of course, um, I can maintain compliance. It, it's all um, on this, this website. It's um, very user friendly. But uh, some of the courses are mandatory for officers to complete, and the others are voluntary. And again, that's at my direction. I'm going to make the courses um, that I see fit to be mandatory for the officers to complete on a monthly basis. These courses are state specific and they meet the Pennsylvania Law Enforcement Accreditation Commission's training rec requirements. And they're also certified by the Municipal Police Officers Education and Training Commission. And this training is in addition to the mandatory training that the officers must complete each year to keep their certification. It's been a busy month, uh, call-wise. In April, uh, officers responded to 591 calls for service in East Cook County Township and 143 calls for service in Denver Borough. And 
so far, uh, year to date, those are the highest numbers, uh, monthly numbers so far. That includes my report. Sounds like uh, you guys are pretty busy. Starting to pick up. Please, uh, please thank all your officers this week's uh, Police Appreciation Week, so please uh, thank them from, from us. Well, I will, and I would like to thank you for um, all the, the food that you brought in yesterday. Um, the officers really appreciate that. No worries. Maybe you'd like to just say a word about the grant that was received? <clears throat> uh, Back in, uh, I believe it was March, I attended a meeting. The Leinster County um, Criminal Justice Advisory Board. Um, I was requesting funding for an all-in-one live scan fingerprint system. Um, as long as I've been here, we've done things the old-fashioned way with uh, black fingerprint ink and paper. Nothing wrong with it. I'm pretty comfortable using that method. Uh, we take a digital photograph of, of um, the arrestees, and um, you know we maintain that in our in our files, and we send the fingerprint cards to the Pennsylvania State Police repository. <clears throat> this all-in-one fingerprint um, live scan and fingerprint identification system, we get instantaneous results. Um, Numerous times, we, uh, our officers would encounter wanted subjects up on 222. We had a, um, there was an escaped uh, convict from Chester County and, uh, a couple months ago. I think it was the last year. And uh, we got a few phone calls that there was a subject matching his description walking on 222. It was around 1 o'clock in the morning. Our officers get up there, identify the subject. It was not the wanted. Uh, escapee, but it was someone else who was wanted at the Philadelphia Police Department for a, uh, there was an active warrant for his arrest. Um, so uh, our officers took him into custody. We sent the, the hit to the police department. Their requirement is that we have to have the subject live scan. Even though we positively identified him with his ID card, we had to have him, that's their policy, we had to have him run through the, the live scan system before they would take possession of him. So our officers scrambled, made a few phone calls, found a neighboring agent, police agency that has this, uh, this system, and they were nice enough to let us utilize it. Of course, they had to walk us through it because our officers aren't trained. Um, so I did attend the, the Criminal Justice Advisory Board meeting requesting funds for this, uh, this system, and um, the, the funding was granted. Um, so we're, I'm in the process now of um, making it happen. Did that come through the county at all? Or it's all sponsored by the county. Good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. So they're funding it for 100%? Yeah. 100%. Awesome. 100%. And um, there's, after the first year, uh, the, the uh, system has a one-year warranty. After the first year, there is an annual maintenance fee. And uh, the county will also fund that. Wow. Nice. Great job. It's a good addition to the department. Yes. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Any questions for the chief? All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Finance, public works, building, new business. Anything, gentlemen? We're still, uh, I'll just bring on the pool passes, they're still available. Uh, we've had some pretty much great number of turnout of pool passes purchased already so far this year. The pool is going to open Memorial Day weekend, so that's coming up a lot sooner than expected. Kids are happy there's, what, two weeks left of school? Parents, not so much. Uh, I want to thank the uh, Township staff for getting the pool ready, Alan, the, uh, the road crew, Melody, Tommy, teamwork makes dream work, I guess, right? You guys are making it all happen. It looks good. I was there, took a picture. Looks really nice. The water cold? I didn't touch it or get it. It looks clean. It's probably 60 right now, if I'd have to take a guess. 
It's not warm. Maybe I'm resting a pool here. Old business, any business? Uh, hoping for uh, to get that meeting together in the middle of June with all the fire departments that are all on board. So I'm looking at a Tuesday night in the middle of June. So just to follow up on that. Good deal. Looking forward to that. What do we do? Please come forward, state your name for the meeting minutes. Thank you. I guess this is uh, kind of old, depends on how you look at it. I think uh, like any of you guys were up here last time I was here. Can I get your name? Oh, Dave Swire. Thank you. Um, I live at the corner of uh, Lavish and Greenstown Road, and uh, from what I understand, the uh, this stance in the township was they're not going to maintain or do anything with the posts that are out in front of my property there. They were township they maintained and well they got run over quite a bit with all the trucks on the traffic on that road. So I was just trying to get a you know an actual it's just been hearsay for me to say because they've been taking them down and not replacing them and that's what the I guess the roadmaster is. Yeah, it's good. Well, yeah, you, maybe he's not the roadmaster. That's always not the roadmaster. Yeah, he's the, yeah, who well, I hear. I, I talked to him more than probably anybody else. I guess he's probably pretty busy from what I understand. Yeah, it's, it's, if I remember correctly, it's been a few years since that was a conversation piece. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, it comes and goes. I mean, to be completely honest with you, like, it's fine for a while, and then all, it, it just starts up again, and it's, it's, Truck after truck after truck on that road, and it's you know it's labeled non no trucks, but it don't it doesn't deter them, right? You know they're delivering to Acme. That whole warehouse has been a problem as far as I'm concerned, but maybe it'd be something to have a new roadmaster since the last time you were in, and, that, and as well as as new manager here. Maybe it'd be something that could be re, re looked at. Yeah, because from what I understand, they said that yeah, we're just going to pull them out and the township doesn't want responsibility for them anymore. So, I, I, if that be the case, that's all fine and dandy too. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly I can do and where I can, you know, because I, I asked Dave, I said, well, I said, you say 17 foot off the center line. Well, in an intersection, that puts that 17 foot right in the center of the intersection. So, I'm like, pretty sure that's not going to be okay. I think I know where the corner you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just stop mm -hmm. And that is tight. Well, and the trucks, well, they're not supposed to be on that road. And that's, the, that's, and that's one of the big problems I have. And actually, it's, it's become, it's become, it's become, a, that whole intersection has become a safety concern for me more so than it has been in the past. I mean, I've been there, I bought the house in 2011, and just this past week, and that's what brings me into this, because last this past week, a truck was making, coming up Greenstown, making a left on the Lausch. And somebody that was coming up Lausch was a little bit impatient and went into my yard, across the driveway, where my kids are playing. And it's, you know, it's just been, it's been an issue. And I've been in here and called in many a times, you know, in hopes to get something done. And I've offered my driveway to the, you know, the police department, and I think that might have actually been a different chief at the time to all as well. And I just, I, I don't know what to do. They said they were there for a while. I mean, there's people that I mean, I, you're talking about the speeding on that road. I mean, I guarantee there's they're over the speed limit, and they don't even stop at the stop sign. So I mean, it's. Do we have your contact information? Um, it's it, it's around. I mean, I can sure. I can okay, well, you could. New fine. manager, new police chief, so right. New roadmaster, so that's why I was asking. Perhaps we can circle back and mm -hmm. kind of uh, 
get a game plan moving forward. Yeah. Pretty bad. Um, Let, let's get this contact yeah. information after we close the recording. Yeah, either that or you can just, if you have a pender, you can just email manager at ect.town. Okay. That yeah. goes directly to him and you can give him your contact information and you guys can get in contact after that. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Um, so, and the other question I had, if, I, if you don't mind, I had a couple of questions that I wanted to ask. Um, the property across the street, and they're redoing that house. There's some company, and they're redoing. There's some talk about them putting a duplex in there. Is that yes? That that's approved. Um, I don't know if the permits are in yet. We had a pre-application meeting with those folks. Um, actually, I know they're not in yet. No, so it's not approved. Okay. Is there any? What? what, what uh, how does that all transpose and work? Is there something? I mean. <laughs> with all the other stuff going on, we, I don't, you know. We, we met with the owners uh, a while back. Um, the use that they are proposing is permitted by the zoning ordinance. Um, they had uh, to do some uh, work with the authorities uh, to coordinate uh, the extension of utilities. And I think that's, uh, that's with whom they're speaking now, the water and sewer trusses. And um, they'll be back to us when, that, when that's completed. Okay. But they're, they're doing that permitted by zone. Okay, and that's my other question I had. Is there a, a is there any kind of information I can get on how that was zoned? Because when I bought that house, that was zoned agricultural. Yeah, if you email me, I'll send you a link to the zoning. Okay, well, uh, we'll get, we can get all that at the same time. Yeah. Okay, that would be great. Um, I guess that's pretty much all I had. The other just off not have anything to do with my property is just the uh, if you're traveling northbound on Ringstown Road and you get into quite not quite into town, there's uh, you're allowed to park street park there. It's on my agenda. You know, you know, you know, you know where we're going with this. It's my agenda. It's on my agenda to talk okay, to you. Okay, you actually have to stop if somebody's coming up the hill, or you're just pushing them off their road. I mean, yeah. So I guess if you're aware of that, there's nothing more I need to say. There's a lot of other calls. Okay. Thank you. Any more else?